Hi guys, uh, welcome to the muscle draw videos. Uh, I wanted to do a few things before we begin, or mention a few things before we begin. The first is that I want to make sure you guys are studying the OIAs that you have been given by your teacher or professor. The reason for that is that um, each professor kind of chooses how precise they want to be about each OIA and I want to make sure that if I mention something and your professor or your teacher has decided to be more or less precise that you um, obviously get the correct answer for your class. The second is that I want to mention I won't be covering muscle actions. The reason for that is that if I did this video would get very very long and everybody would stop paying attention but also because it's not the point of this exercise. The point of this exercise is to learn the origins and insertions of the muscles to be able to see them on a skeleton and then once you do that you should be able to take a pretty educated guess as to the action of the muscle um, and hopefully you may not have to study those as much. The third thing I want to mention is to make this your own. So I am going to be showing you how I use this ex exercise, but um, you are welcome to tweak it and change it and make it the best that it can be for you and for your studying. With that, let's get on to the video. All right, welcome to Muscle Draw video number three. In this video, we are going to look at some of the knee movers, and some of these um, muscles also will have action at the hip. Okay, we're going to get started looking at um, the quads, which of course are the group of four muscles that are on the anterior part of the femur. We're going to start with the vastus intermedius, and this is the deepest of the quad muscles. Origin is going to be at the anterior uh, surface of the femur, and then all of the quads are going to insert on the tibial tuberosity, and that's the bump that you see right here on the anterior part of the femur. I'm sorry, tibia. Next is vastus lateralis. and This has two different origin points. One is the greater trochanter, and that's this large bump at the top of the femur. And then the other one is actually the linea aspera, and as you've noticed in the last video, the linea aspera is on the posterior side of the femur, so we actually cannot see it here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this part, which is going to blend in here and insert again on that tibial tuberosity. And then I'm just going to draw kind of like this to show that there are fibers coming from the linea aspera. And again, it's called lateralis because it's on the lateral side of the leg. Then we have vastus, meaning large, vastus medialis. That's going to be on the medial side. And this is going to originate only from the linea aspera. And it will go down and it will also insert on the tibial tuberosity. And I'm going to go ahead and make a line like that to show that it's coming from, it's actually wrapping from the back to the front. And then the last of the quad muscles to look at is rectus femoris and this one is actually going to originate on the anterior inferior iliac spine and that is this bump right here. So on the last video we looked at sartorius which is going to originate up here on the anterior superior iliac spine and now we're looking at the anterior inferior iliac spine and of course this muscle will also insert on the tibial tuberosity. So there we have all of our quads. And one thing to notice is that three of these muscles only cross one joint. So the vastus lateralis, the intermedius, and the medialis are all going to uh, extend the knee. However, the rectus femoris is going to cross both the hip joint and the knee joint, so it's going to flex the hip and extend the knee. Next, we're going to look at the semi-twins. 
and uh, they have the same origin and insertion, so I just have it listed once. But this is consists of both the semimembranosus, which is kind of a fleshy, thicker muscle, and the semitendinosus, which is a more tendinous uh, muscle. And these are both going to be posterior, and they're going to be part of the hamstring. So I'm going to draw it here, and then I'm going to draw it again later uh, looking at a posterior view. So both of these guys are going to originate on the ischial tuberosity, and that's way in the back here. So I'm just going to draw two X's. And then they're going to insert, remember Grace and Sarah and the semi-twins all have PMS today. They all are going to insert on the proximal medial surface of the tibia. All right. So there's our semi-twins, semimembranosus and semitendinosus. And semitendinosus is on top, meaning it's most superficial. So from, if you're looking at it from the back side, which is how you would see these muscles on a cadaver, you would see that the semitendinosus is on top. Next, the other uh, hamstring that we're going to look at is the biceps femoris long head. And again, these are in the back, typically, posterior. Also going to be originating from the ischial tuberosity. Except for in this case, this is going to go on the lateral, I mean, it's going to swing to the lateral side, and it's going to insert on the fibular head and the lateral condyle, and it's going to be more towards the back. And then we also have the biceps femoris short head, and it's called short head because it's shorter. This one's going to originate on the linea aspera. I'm going to make it a different color just so you can see it. It's going to originate on the linea aspera, and it's going to come down and insert in the same spot as the biceps femoris long head. So now you can see that the four muscles in the back side of the posterior side of the um, leg, we have the semimembranosus, semitendinosus, biceps femoris long head, and all three of those are going to cross both the hip and the knee. So they're going to be extending the hip and flexing the knee because they're on the posterior side. And then you have biceps femoris short head, which is only crossing the knee, so it's only going to be flexing the knee. We're going to look at one more um, picture. I want to show you everything from the posterior side. Okay, again, so looking at the semi-twins, this is going to be the ischial tuberosity, because now we're looking at the back side of it. It's this kind of bump here. And these are going to wrap down, right, and they're going to go to the proximal medial surface of the tibia. And then on the back side, I'm sorry, on the, on the lateral side, we have our two biceps femoris. So we have the biceps uh, femoris long head, which is going to go on the outside. It's going to go to the lateral uh, condyle the tibia and to the fibular head. And then the biceps femoris short head, which is going to go from the linea aspera, which is on this posterior side of the femur, and will insert in the same two spots. So there you can pretty easily see in the posterior view the three hamstring muscles and this uh, biceps femoris short head. And that brings us to the end of this video.